Hello everyone, welcome to Harshita Vivek Talks. My name is Vivek and today we are going to talk about MBA scholarships. Doing MBA is expensive and doing MBA abroad is even more expensive. So what can you do to simplify or to reduce your MBA cost? You can get scholarships. Yeah, this is one way to look into it and very smart way as well. So in this video, we are going to talk about five ways with which you can reduce your MBA fees. Yes, the scholarships given by the university, your B schools and how can you get it? Before we look into those secrets, I want to tell you why do B schools give scholarships? So the very first thing is they give scholarships to the merit based students, students who they would love to have in the school, in the university. So students like, for example, entrepreneurs, Olympians, high achievers, those who have done something in their life. And of course, be if they come to, let's say, Harvard or like some other B school, B school would benefit largely by having such profiles. So when companies come to the campus and when companies are hiring, they look into those profiles and then they say, oh, wow, you have great students who join you. So definitely it makes you a top notch B school as well. Right. So they are looking for achievers. They're looking for bright minds, people who have achieved something. Also, B schools are giving scholarships so that they are also able to give financial assistance to those who need it. In this video, we are going to look into the five secrets which will enable you to get an MBA scholarship. So let's get right into it. So the very first point we are going to talk about is apply early. Wow, what a secret, right? No, but this is really a secret of getting a good scholarship. If, for example, if you are sure about a B school and you want to apply to that school, do it early. When I say early, for example, if your academic session starts in September, by September the previous year, you should be able to finish your application or by October. Why? Why I'm saying this? Because business schools have a good scholarship budget in the beginning. So who should get this? Yes, the smarter ones, the people who are smart about their MBA application. So if, for example, if you have finished your GMAT, if you have given your GMAT already, if you have given your language test and you are ready with your application in September and October, just apply because business schools have a lot of funds to start with. And early birds, they also have early bird discounts. So for example, you might be able to get up to 5K off from your tuition fee if you apply by the early bird deadline discount so uh, they have it like mostly uh, one year in advance so if you apply by that time you should be able to get discount with even before starting your application itself it makes sense to apply early and get this scholarship so why it helps to apply early business schools have a limited scholarship budget and once you apply early and then they are willing to give you admission you can ask for scholarships in the earlier steps and they would want to fill their seats as soon as possible. So if you have applied early and you are a good potential and definitely business school is considering giving you a scholarship. So it helps, it's a win-win situation. Well, the second secret is profile. So what does profile consist of? Profile consists of someone who is from a different ethnicity, different country, different background and with different set of achievements. So for example, in my class, we had Olympians. Two Olympians were in my class. One was in hockey, another was a swimmer. How cool is that? You are studying with Olympians and in some cases you are studying with entrepreneurs. So how cool would be that batch wherein you have people from different backgrounds who are and from different countries who are coming in, studying together and you have a lot to learn. And that's the reason B schools value this profile, their diversity, what you bring to the B school is one of the things. So for example, if you are a female achiever, you should definitely highlight it. If for example, if you are someone who has done some kind of entrepreneurship, you have entrepreneurship experience, you should definitely highlight it and you will be given weightage in terms of admissions, but also in terms of getting a scholarship. Third point is uh, with regards to GMAT score. I know everyone says, yeah, you get a higher GMAT, you get a scholarship, but this is partially true. Higher GMAT doesn't guarantee you that you will get a scholarship. Yes, you might have a higher chances of getting an admission, but getting a scholarship is a different ball game altogether. Having said that, if you have a score of let's say 720, 700, you have a higher chances of getting a scholarship as well. So get a good GMAT score, get a good TOEFL, ILET score, and then it will strengthen your profile. 
also people who are scoring less than 700 don't be disappointed there are chances that you might also get a scholarship but you have to play a little bit smarter how you can do that for example if you are someone let's say at 640 and which is the average gmat score for the b school last year right so you are in the average range of the gmat score for the b school now what you can do is highlight for example the different aspects that you bring the value that you bring irrespective of what you have achieved in your GMAT because GMAT is only the one aspect. B school need people who have divergent thinking as well as convergent thinking. So for example, engineers and people who are very analytical, they have they are very convergent in their thinking. But somebody with an arts background, somebody with a design background have a divergent thinking. They are able to see multiple solutions to the same problem. So B school need a mix of those people. Therefore, if you have humanities background or commerce background and you have done something else, highlight it because you might be getting a scholarship based on your profile, not your GMAT score alone, but having a good average GMAT score will help you position yourself. The fourth secret we are talking about is an MBA essay. So what does this MBA essay consist of? This MBA essay, as we have talked about earlier, consists of the value which you bring to the B school. For example, I have seen people who have gotten scholarship to promote the B-School. Yes, so there are people who go to different forums, they talk about their B-Schools, how good is that, or they review, they answer your questions. And if you do that, and if you say, yeah, I'm willing to help you out with admissions, with different kind of initiatives, then the B-School is considering a scholarship for you already. They know you are willing to help, you are bringing in some value, and it's a win-win situation even for the B-School. So definitely highlight it, highlight what you bring to the table, what value do you bring to the table, what different thinking or different aspects are there in your profile. This brings us to the last point. So the last point is negotiate. Oh, you will ask me, Vivek, uh, how can I negotiate with the B school? What if they reject me? Guys, this rarely happens that if you will ask for scholarship that the B school is going to reject you outright. No, they might be able to say, oh, we don't have funds. We will uh, will not be able to offer you a scholarship, but they will not reject you. And why I'm telling you to negotiate. Sometimes negotiation is also about highlighting why you need it the most. With negotiation, what do I mean? So for example, if you have a good profile or decent profile and a good GMAT score as well, you can ask B school to consider the amount of scholarship which has been given to you. For example, you have been offered a 20% tuition fee waiver. You can even ask them, Hey, could you consider 30% so that I can confirm my admission on the spot because I'm not able to get this amount of loan or I can't afford it, these kind of things. You can highlight it straight away so that the B school knows your position. And as I said earlier, don't worry, they're not going to reject you for this. Also, if you are struggling to bridge this gap, if you can't afford, let's say, a 20K of tuition fee and you are able to get only 18K, you are able to manage only 17K, then you should highlight to, to the B-School so that the B-School knows the reason why you are not able to join, why you can't say yes. And it's important to do this, uh, whether you call it negotiation, whether you call it being transparent, and it's important to do that. There are humans on the other side as well. They also understand it's important for students to get the education, but at the same time, keeping the cost in their own budget. So if you are honest and if you are transparent, the B schools are very considerate. They might consider you for some kind of scholarship. Okay, now we have talked uh, five secrets and uh, there are many other ways with which you can finance your MBA study. This is going to be a separate video and we are going to talk about in our upcoming series. If you want to have one-to-one -one sessions with me in order to understand your chances for scholarships in order to prepare yourself for an admission or for a scholarship i'll be happy to do that the link is in our description box so please uh, feel free to book a call with me other than that there are more valuable content on mba mba scholarships admissions coming your way do subscribe to harshita vivek talks and also subscribe to our email because i'm also forwarding you the valuable contents that you need for your mba preparation See you in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.